Question 26. Two waves, P and Q, meet at point X and superpose. Okay, so you got P and you got Q and they superpose. Or they meet. Okay, initially the two waves meet at X in phase. Okay, so initially they are in phase with zero phase difference. So that the resultant wave have an amplitude of 4.0 cm at that point. Okay, sure. Is this constructive or miss? You don't know. You don't know. Um, okay, let me draw for you. Let's say P, I mean, you can assume it is, but let me draw for you. So let's say this is P. Um, because we don't know, we don't know whether P and Q is like this. Let's say this is P and let's say this is Q. And maybe your point X is here. Or your point X can be here. Or your point X can be here. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know where the X is. You just don't know. Okay? So because of this, you can't really say whether 14 is perfect constructive or perfect destructive. But you also don't need to know. But I guess maybe it's better for me to sketch out the wave first. So I'm just going to roughly sketch out P. Let's say this is P. Okay? I'm going to draw another Q here. If X is at the midpoint, then P and Q will meet like this, which is the perfect constructive interference. Nah? They meet like this, perfect overlapping. You get beautiful 14. But you don't. You don't know. It could be like this. It could be like this. It could be like this. The only thing that it is not is this. Because this one will cancel and everything will be zero. Alright. So okay, you don't really know what is delta L. You don't know what delta L is because you don't know what your X is. You don't. So don't know. Lah. Maybe here, maybe here. So I guess maybe to make our brain work better, since it seems like a lot of variables to think about, let's assume... It is at here, at the middle. Assume. Just assume only, okay? To help us brain. So if this is the case, right, it's probably pretty easy to see that when you take wave P and wave Q and you add their amplitudes together, so let's say I add this one, amplitude of P plus the amplitude of Q. Okay, la, maybe don't use the word amplitude. Maybe I use the word displacement. Okay. Displacement of P plus the displacement of Q. So that means I can take any point, okay? Your X can be any point. It doesn't really have to be here. It can be anywhere. But I know XP plus XQ is equal to 14.0 cm. Okay? And then it says here, the phase difference... So you see, the resultant wave is... 14 cm. The phase difference between two waves is then changed so that they meet at X with a phase difference of 180 degrees. Okay. So if they meet at X first thing in phase, zero phase difference. So here to here is in phase. Okay. Phase difference is zero. Uh, it may be 360, it may be 720, we don't know, lah, okay? We don't know where X is, but 0. So I think because of this, that was enough information to see this as constructive interference. So that condition of interference is important. Lah. In phase, 0 phase difference, constructive. Okay? So that's how you negotiate that thought in your brain. When we shift it to 180, so how did they change the wave, the phase difference between the two waves? Don't know. Maybe they changed the vibrator. Okay. Maybe they changed the position of X. But now the resultant wave has an amplitude of 4.0 cm at X. So now if let's say I switch this Q such that it is 180 from P. So again, P is here. But Q is 180 phase difference. So Q would be this. 
Now, when this one meets this one, if you look at this all, let's say I take this point, here to here is negative xp, but here to here is positive xq. So for here, displacement of p plus displacement of q is equal to 4.0 cm. There's no complete cancellation. So when the phase difference is 180, the resultant wave now have an amplitude of 4 cm at x. So this is your 4 cm. Okay? So if you understand the idea of phase difference, like for example, this one here, uh, the phase difference is 180 degree. So the distance from here to here Phase angle wise, as we have done in a previous question, this phase angle is 180 degree. Okay, so is this destructive? Well, yes, it is somewhat destructive, but it's not a complete cancellation because uh, the amplitudes are not the same. Pretty obvious, right? 4 cm. But this xp has a negative in front, and this negative here is thanks, it is thanks to the phase difference of 180 degree. So now we've got two equations. No? Equation 1, equation 2. So I guess we can substitute or we can just plus the equation together. Because what is the question asking from us? Uh? Amplitude of one of the waves at point x. Okay, so I don't even know whether they want me to find the amplitude of P or the amplitude of Q. So, do not find both, okay? So, maybe I'll take equation 1 plus equation 2. Okay? Equation 1 plus equation 2. So, when I take 1 plus 2, xp plus negative xp go away, long, no more already. xq plus xq is 2xq. 2xq. Okay? 14 plus 4 is 18. So this will be 18 cm. Let me move my screen a bit. Okay, so we are solving a system of simultaneous equation. I take equation 1 plus equation 2. So the xp will cancel each other. You have no more xp. <laughs> okay, so and then you have xq plus xq and you have 2xq. So now you have the amplitude of q. It is 9.0 cm. Okay, then we can just substitute into any one of those equations, right? So from here, xp plus 9 is equal to 14. So xp will now be equal to 5 cm. So one of the wave is 9 cm amplitude. The other wave is 5. If you have a good sense of numbers, right? What the question is asking you is, when you add the two waves together, you get 14. When you minus the waves, you get 4. What are the possible values of the amplitudes of both waves? P plus Q is 14. P minus Q is 4. What is P and what is Q? But if you need to know the physics behind it, which is useful, if you are not speed running the objective paper, then think about drawing out the wave and understanding that when the phase angle is 0, they will meet like this. Constructive, we will take XP plus XQ to be 14. When they meet at 180 degree phase difference, it is destructive or cancellation. So these two will cancel. And because the cancellation is not clean, you don't get zero here, you get 4 cm. Then what this is telling me is the amplitudes are not the same. So then I can form two equations. Adding together, I get 14. Subtracting, I get 4. Then I can just simultaneous equation. No? How I know xp is bigger or xq is bigger? You don't know, never mind. Because here they just ask you one of the waves. So the only answer we have is 5 cm. Okay. Or 9.0 cm. But 9.0 cm is not the option here. Alright, so that's it for this question. A little bit challenging because you really need to understand uh, the conditions for interference and what happens when two waves meet. So sometimes when they give you like paragraph like this or take your time to slowly read and try to understand. Don't rush questions like this. Try to understand what they mean. Meeting in phase, you add the amplitude, 
meeting out of phase here phase difference of 180 this one is destructive not a clean cancellation but it's still subtraction okay so that's it for this question 26